The internet is crashing. So many sites are inaccessible. AWS had a massive outage today, and we're just gonna be breaking down, looking in what happened, what's going on, how it impacts you. Northeast for US East one region had a massive outage, and that is the top region for AWS. If you see here, the top regions, one of the oldest and largest regions, a lot of sites rely on this, and it went down. If you check here on Down Detector, massive websites are down. Snapchat, Amazon, Roblox, a lot of these are built on AWS. In addition to that, Vercel, which is where I deploy a lot of my sites personally, is built on top of AWS, so it also went down. So you see here, a lot of these sites, 500 server error, 500 server error, 500 server error. It is not good. Here's a live look at the AWS head engineer. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to see a little bit more about what's going on. So the big thing was US East number one went down and they still have not said what actually is going on. They're actively debugging it. We haven't got an update yet. We just know that it's down. Oh, I don't need a map. The big issue here is centralization. Everything relies way too heavily on one region. So this one region went down, US East one. As you see here, there's multiple other regions. AWS has servers all the way across the world, but this one region is causing a massive outage because tons of sites and tons of websites depend on this one thing. So that's extremely messed up how centralized it is. A lot of major apps reported downtime. Alexa, Fortnite, Snapchat. If you see here, Down Detector, all of these sites have an uptick here because they all went down today because they are built on AWS. Spectrum looks like they have a lot of downtime. I don't know what's going on there, but a lot of these are usually extremely stable, but because they're built on AWS, this massive outage today is impacting it. We'll see how clean the video ends up being. If you're a founder and you're building a website, chances are you rely on AWS. If you use Vercel, if you deploy directly to Vercel, but I've heard a lot of founders moving to Hetzner right here. I've seen founders today post on Twitter, Tons of sites are down, but if you're built on Hetzner, if you're using Hetzner server, Hetzner's up and running. Hetzner's nice and smooth. So in the future, this is definitely something to consider because of the centralization of AWS. Something like this can happen again in the future. AWS has had outages like this before. Hetzner is amazing to use. AWS has had similar outages like this in 2021, 2020, and 2023. So it shows the recurring risk, and there's a very high chance this can happen again. So Migrating to Hetzner is something that can definitely keep your website safe. Something that I'm going to look into because as you see here, all of my websites are inaccessible right now. I literally cannot do any work. I would love to promote it. I live stream a lot, but I can't even promote it anywhere, which absolutely sucks. Imagine if I don't even edit the video and it's just like me yapping, going crazy. Going forward, if you want to see when your website goes up, keep an eye on downdetector.com because this will be updated. You'll see these get stable. You can check AWS status dashboard which is right here. As you see, it's still disrupted. They haven't given us any update what's going on, but they're actively debugging it. It's taken them quite a while to debug it. Significant error rates made to DynamoDB. So they said that right there. That is the issue right there. Customers may be unable to create or update support spaces. Cool. So we will have more information to share by 2 a.m. EST or PST, which is in one minute. So in one minute, we're going to get the update on it. One minute, time in California. We're getting an update in one minute on what the AWS outages are saying. This video is gonna be so like random in Descript. Five minutes only so far for the actual, I have the stream going. So we'll have both of them edit a video in Descript. Okay, 15 seconds, we're gonna find out what's going on with this. You guys see the AWS head engineer right now. He's working hard. He's debugging it. We're going to get it solved very soon. It's just a matter of time. It says they're giving us an update to share by 2 a.m. And it's 2 a.m. right now in California. Wow. Would you look at that? AWS lying to us. I'm going to start some massive service here in Chiang Mai. And for you, it's only $20 a month. I'm joking, but we should be getting an update from AWS any second. Updated less than one minute ago. What did they update? Amazon DynamoDB, everything is update or everything is down, but they still didn't say any update for what it is. 51. So they said they were going to provide an update 35 to 40 minutes and they did that. But now they're saying another update at 2 a.m. and we haven't got anything. We're cooked. I need to go on Twitter and just reply to people to get them in the stream. Get more people in the stream. Look at these people doing demos. How? That's how you know it's pre-recorded. They didn't raw dog the demo.
I'm gonna see what else I should talk about in this YouTube video, get that, and then I'll I'll continue checking the status and stuff, but let's see what else. Why did it happen? If you're a business owner and you have an online business, you need to see that even tech giants like AWS have vulnerabilities. They are not 100% safe. So you need to take matters into your own hands. Make sure you have multiple regions set up. You might have to hire a server guy, someone who's a lot better quality at this. I use Vercel personally for a lot of my websites. Backend is Supabase, which is also built on top of AWS. So if you want to make sure that as you're scaling up, you should definitely have a lot higher quality set up on the backend and where is everything hosted because something like this can really hurt you. The stock market is closed, but I wonder how this is impacting stuff. I'm sure AWS, Amazon stock remains stable apparently, but we'll see. I'm going to add a conclusion. So I'm not sure when this video is going out. Hopefully AWS is stable and your websites are working, but let me know in the comments if some of your websites went down. What is your plan for the future? I know personally, I'm going to try moving a lot of my websites to Hetzner. That way it's more stable. This has happened three times before for AWS, 2020, 2021, 2023. Those years might be off, but it's happened before. It's happening now. So there is a chance that it's going to happen again in the future, but other options like Hetzner seem to be good. So Hetzner, please sponsor this video. So yeah. If you're here, oh, no. thanks for watching this video. I hope it gave you a little breakdown of what was happening with this AWS outage. I personally have a startup studio and a lot of my stuff are built on top of AWS, which is why I quickly found out about this outage. So if you want to check it out, I'll have links in the bio to my products because chances are, if you have an online business, I have a tool or a service that can help you grow. Fingers crossed the AWS outage is fixed by the time this comes out and everything is stable. Keep building.